Yo guys, what's up? It's Teachers Game 2 coming at you with another video right now, and I am going to show you on the Valguero map, what is the one dinosaur that you absolutely have to have? Now, this one's the large dino, and a lot of people are going to disagree with me. However, the biggest reason I think you need this guy is because he's underrated. Now, these things are super overpowering, and in the right situations, they're unstoppable. Without further ado, meet the spy now. Boom. Now, let's go ahead and hop on him. Now, the biggest reason why you, I guess the number one reason why you want a Spino on your server is because their damage output is incredible. This is a wild Spino. He's got nothing special about him. This is a wild tame. And he's got a decent saddle on him, but he, we use him for, obviously you can see up here, meat running. Because one, they are incredibly fast. And I'll show you what I mean. I'll get down to the river first because that's, okay, Mr. Raptor, I'm just stuck on you. That's cool. So I'll show you what I mean. So without water... They're pretty fast, but when they get into the water itself, they can absolutely fly. Right now, he moves about as fast as a, uh, I'll call it a, as fast as a Giga, but look at his stamina. His stamina doesn't go down at all, and this is the number one reason for these guys being the best large tame, in my opinion. Well, I guess the best underrated large tame, because what's happening is basically these guys can run, and they're like a transport mount. You have a transporting large tame, which is crazy. It's insane that you could have some sort of large tame that is an actual transport mount. I love these things for this reason. Now, I'm going to show you the second reason as soon as we get down to the water, but let me talk a little bit more about his transportability. So, his, unlike a Rex, because you know Rexes basically lose their stamina instantaneously, a Spino can run for a long time, which is awesome. So, you not only do you have the transportability, but they're fast, so you can escape a situation. They're great little, I guess, trolley mounts, if you want to call them that, because unless someone's got a wyvern and they can't even really do much about it, you can just hang out. Now, here's reason number two why you need a Spino. I'm down in the Crab River of Aberration. This is on my official server. You'll see in the upper right corner, I get a water bonus. Now, what the water bonus gives me is it gives me a healing bonus, it gives me a speed bonus, and it gives me an attack speed bonus, and it gives me a damage output bonus. And I'll show you what that means. So these guys, once you get them near water, and then if you use their secondary attack, put them up on their heels, they become absolute attack monsters. Now this is just a crappy uh, Spino. So I'm going to show you how quickly he shreds just a... I don't know what level crab this is. 55. It took me five hits to shred that guy. Now what you can do... We do our meat runs down this river. You literally just go up and down the river. And apparently there's not much here right now. There's an anglerfish. But not only does he actually get a ton of meat, he gets a ton of fish meat. So you can see 200 from one anglerfish. These things can be OP very, very fast. Now, this is a wild one. If you get a couple of these bread, you get the damage output bonus, you get the reduced damage bonus, you get all kinds of bonuses. So they're fast, they're overpowering, and they do a lot of damage. That's a really pretty Sarko. I'm going to eat it. So anyways, that's number two why these guys are super awesome. Number three, I'm not going to be able to show you right now, but I wanted to tell you about it. So these guys, to raise them, are insanely easy. Now, in order to raise these guys, it takes only a couple of days and within maybe an hour they can hold like two or three rows of meat on them so they are super easy to raise so you can get some super powerful ones really quickly now reason number four why i think these guys are op is on the new map valguero i went ahead and took i think it was a total of 10 spinos with primitive saddles into the gamma boss fight by myself i didn't bring anything else didn't bring anybody else i just went with spinos and we absolutely shredded the bosses over here. So you could do a boss run with a Spino that are just wild tamed, nothing special about them, no reduction in damage, no anything. Which in my opinion is quite crazy. So that is why I think these guys are super overpowering. Now obviously the Giga is something that everyone's going to be like, well, it's yeah, the Giga is obviously the, probably the best large tame in the game. Probably. However, the most underrated large tame that you should have is these spinos because they are super crazy and then once you get him in water he's almost totally encumbered right now and look how fast he goes they just fly 
and they're fun to have because they move quick. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you don't mind leaving a like and a subscribe, that'd be really appreciated because it does help me and I'm trying to uh, get some more content out for you guys. All right, hopefully you enjoyed it, but Teacher's Game 2, out.